Hi everyone, I'm Jabril. And I'm Ahmed, and, and this, this is English, English Rocks. Rocks. The EA assessment task on Australia Voices is coming up very soon, and we end our Dorothy and McKellar's iconic poem, My Country, in our previous episode. For today's episode, we're going to be writing a response to My Country. With only one week before our assessment task, let's get it right into it. Let's reread the poem first. My Country by Dorothy and McKellar. The love of field and coppice, of green and shaded lanes, of ordered woods and gardens is running in your veins. Strong love of grey-blue distance, brown streams and soft dim skies. I know but cannot share it, my love is otherwise. I love a sunburnt country, a land of sweeping plains, of raid mountain ranges, of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jewel sea, her beauty and her terror, the wide brown land for me. The stark white-ringed barked forests, all tragic to the moon, a sapphire misted mountains, the hot gold hush of noon, green tangle of the brushes where lithe lianas coil, and orchids deck the tree chops and ferns the wa warm dark soil. Core of my heart, my country, her pitiless blue sky, when sick at heart around us we see the cattle die, but then the grey clouds gather and wake and bless again the drumming of an army, steady soaking rain. Core of my heart, my country, Land of the rainbow gold, for flood and fire and famine she pays us back threefold. Over the thirsty paddocks, watch after many days, the filmy veil of greenness that thickens as we gaze. An opal-hearted country, a willful, lavish land. All you who have not loved her, you will not understand. Though earth holds many splendours, wherever I may die, I know to what brown country my homing thoughts will fly. We said, when writing a paragraph on Jack Davis' poem, Land, we are very lucky that we have so many notes already on my country. And this is why preparation is vital when preparing for an extended response, isn't it? Yes, it is. We have an extended response question. What important thing is Dorothea McKellar saying about Australia, and how does she know this? And there are two parts to this question. The first part deals with the important idea, and the second part is how McKellar expresses it with the use of techniques. Like we stated in our previous episode, we will be following the peeled paragraph structure, opening our paragraph with a strong topic sentence. Expanding the topic sentence with additional information. Using textual evidence to support our argument. Analyze how the composer are using techniques to shape meaning. And then link all of this back to the question. And this is what we came up with. My country is McKellar's great tribute to Australia. So she expresses her great love for this country and this is very clear throughout the poem. So our topic states that the poem clearly shows Michaela's great love for his country. We wanted to expand this idea of her great love by adding more information. So we stated that it does not matter whether they were beautiful or horrible experiences. Michaela loves Australia for what she is. Michaela must have been very easygoing, don't you think, Albert? Yeah, 100%. Once we have stated or argued that Michaela accepted the good and the bad of Australia, we have to find the evidence from the text to support this. So we included Michaela's repetition of I love and her use of oxymorons to show the opposite of drought and rain and beauty and terror. It is your analysis of a text that you really earn many marks. It is where you highlight what was the composer trying to say with these examples. And Michaela is emphasizing that it does not matter how hard or easy, beautiful or ugly Australia is. She will always love her because this is what makes Australia so unique. Once we made our point and expanded on it, used evidence and then analysed it, it is important to bring all this back to the question. And we realise that Australia has so much to offer its people, whether challenging or beautiful, and this is what makes it a special place. So we have animated two poems, Land and My Country, and responses to them. There are two of the five poems you can choose to write about on the assessment task. Don't forget to write your own paragraphs in your own time. We hope English Rocks has helped you. See you next time. Bye.